Hey everyone, this is Gleb and I'm continuing to refactor Cypress API tests. This is a short video where I will improve the IntelliSense. Because right now we are using this page object. And for example, when we get all articles, notice that it yields or returns any. So we have no idea what this is. Uh, so it's hard for us to refactor and introduce new commands if there are no types. So let's look at this page object. It's a class, it has methods, and we return a new instance of that class. So the first thing I'll do is, I notice that we are not using this as an actual class. We don't have any encapsulated data, nothing. In a sense, we're using all these methods as like static functions. So what I will do here is instead of exporting an instance of a class, I'll just export an object. And so we just need to add commas between the methods of this object, a couple more, okay. And everything should work the same. So let me just verify it. I'll open a Cypress test with articles and it still works the same, excellent. So now we can do the second thing. So right now the Sci API, right, and Sci are unknown global object Sci with unknown method API. So usually I would introduce, even in JavaScript projects, something like this. So this gives me IntelliSense for a global Sci object. But Sci API is a custom command. It comes from Cypress plugin API. And I can change this reference to Cypress plugin API. So because it extends Cypress, it will include the Cypress types and has a custom types for the custom command API. So now it's much better. So now if I go back, each method yields, for example, API response body. So this is a response body, status is a number, and then the body could be any, okay? So I do it in pretty much every project. I make sure that my IntelliSense is working so that it makes it so much easier to write the correct testing code. 